grown in confidence the three times we've spoken. You know, really? yeah, in Amsterdam, yeah, yeah. you were a little nervous, that. I think. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm I'm like uh, now I'm like a bit a bit nervous, like yeah. like this. A healthy nervous. It's just you know I'm not a talkative person. I don't oh. really uh, really like talking, but to you it's amazing. Oh, it's <laughs> very kind, but. Yesterday on the turquoise carpet, you were bubbly. You were fun. You seemed to be having a great time. Yeah, it's because of my outfit. Yeah. I was like uh, really, I was feeling really powerful. That's why I think. I see. Yeah. <laughs> so fashion for you can be a source of yeah, joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, one thing I noticed is you love wearing lots of jewelry. Tell us about that. Oh, um, I was wearing like uh, jewelry since I was a little girl. My mother. Uh, Pierced your ears. Pierced, yeah, pierced me when I was like two months, I think. Oh, wow. <laughs> and yeah, she also loves to um, make jewelry and create jewelry, and that's why, you know, <sighs> I'm like wearing it and love it. And are you from Yerevan or outside the city? From Yerevan. Okay. Yeah. And what to you is the most magical thing about Yerevan? Most magical thing? Uh, I love the streets of Yerevan. Uh, it's full of joy and full of people singing around and playing an instruments and basking <laughs> on the streets of Yerevan. I was the musicians back then where, yeah, I was singing really? yeah, and basking on the streets of wow. Yerevan with my friends and there was a lot of fun and that's why I love Yerevan because people are really uh, welcoming and they are really kind. Yeah. Did you ever sing at Cascade? Yes. Yes, I was. Well, girl, the next time you're there, I'm going to be throwing money in that hat. <laughs> okay. Welcome, friends. This is T again with another reaction video. And today, we're going to be doing a reaction on Brunette Smoke Break, requested by Cheryl Lloyd. Now, I'm, I love Brunette. I'm loving the way she sings. I love her songs. It's fantastic. And I'm always looking forward to these type of requests because, you know, they're starting to become my favorite now. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. All right. And I love, like the little graphic thing going on right there. That's pretty cute, you know. But, you know, it's, it's sometimes difficult to find, like, live performances of Brunette. Maybe it's just me, you know, but it's a lot of videos of her, but it's just not a whole bunch of live performances. I might come across a few, like, on shorts or maybe TikTok or something like that, but nothing like on YouTube I haven't, haven't seen. So if you have any more information about more of her live performances, uh, please leave it in the links below in my comment section. I really would appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get into this reaction. But before we do, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you know whenever we come out with new videos, okay? All right, let's get with this. Talking 
All right, we just reacted to Brunette Smoke Break. Beautiful song. And I'm assuming she's rapping in this song. And it sounds very good. I really like it, man. She seemed to be multi-talented. Very beautiful, can sing, and throwing in some rap in there. I mean, if I'm wrong here, I don't speak the language, but please let me know if I'm wrong here. But it sounded like rap to me, okay? But she seemed very hip. You know, she seemed to fall into the R&B, uh, hip-hop kind of category with her singing. Even though I know she's Armenian, but still, it kind of like, you know, familiar to me. Because it sounds like a little bit of R&B, sound like some rap and some jazz going on, you know? I mean, it's almost like a mixture. And I'm starting to notice a lot of these performances aren't sticking to one genre now. It's just, they seem to mix a lot. You know, everybody used, back in the day when I was getting growing up, everybody grew up in, um, you know, specific genres. A lot of artists, they had specific genres. They either use rock or you was rap, or you was jazz, or you was like R&B, something that fall into, you, you was able to define what you did, basically, right? But it seemed like these days, a lot of artists are kind of mixing a whole bunch of stuff, which I think is cool. I think it's fantastic. I really love the sound of that. You know, I, I you know maybe it's a great thing that you really can't define an artist because they got that kind of talent when they can just do anything. I remember there was an artist, I can't remember the artist's name, but when they sung, they sung some R&B, and a lot of it sounds sometimes like country i think it was hootie and the blowfish oh boy i know he did country later but a lot of his you couldn't really put him in a box because a lot of stuff sound like pop then it sound a little country it didn't sound a little you know a little rock or something like that it was like a mixture of it which i think that's the reason why they lasted as long as they did because you really couldn't put them in one spot and you got to think about you know these days being an artist is a whole lot bigger. You got an international audience. You're on social media. So it behooves you to try to track as many as people as possible. So to be able to do so many things, it's just like Chris Stapleton, man. I mean, like, I got so many comments regarding this guy can pretty much do anything. And the fact that he can attracts more people. That means he attracts more audiences. And that means his paycheck is bigger, you know. And that way he ain't put into a box too. And I think it's also about the art as well. A lot of people don't like to be putting the art in, into boxes these days. So I noticed that. I mean, with their personal lives and with their artistry or with their work, they want to be open. It's like like me when it comes to YouTube. As much as I like doing uh, music reactions, but I also like, you know, spread my wings. I like to do other types of reactions and things, too. And I got ideas about other things I would like to do with this channel and maybe start up another channel and do something on that as well. Maybe I need to separate. I don't know. But I don't like also being put in a box, too. I like to, you know, explore different things. But I still want to entertain and i think that is the goal especially with brunette she wants to entertain but i think at the same time she don't want that you know make her art suffer for it you know but that's my opinion if you like this song and you also like this reaction that i did to this song please leave it in the comments i always like hearing from you and i always read my comments and i do reply uh thank you so much on this beautiful saturday for joining me i really would appreciate it and Peace.